hello everyone and welcome to another youtube video uh, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the concept of correlation and covariance so let's go into defining these two key terms so correlation is actually a single number that we can actually use to define the strength and direction of association between two variables now covariance on the other hand is a number that is actually used to define the direction of association only so your correlation defines both strength and direction of association while your covariance defines uh, just direction the correlation coefficient that defines two values can actually be visualized using what we we'll call a scatter plot and uh, a scatter plot consists of a vertical axis and a horizontal axis and then in between its axis we actually have this dotted line that we can actually have a line of feet that can actually tell us the direction of the correlation if we have like an upward slope whenever we plot our scatter plot then we have what we call a positive correlation between the two variables in this case both variables are actually increasing and decreasing in the same direction and if we have like a downward slope it means that both variables are actually uh, changing in opposite direction that is as one of the variables is increasing the other is actually decreasing and vice versa and when we feel like we cannot you know get a slope in between uh, the variables that are interacting that is we can't see this upward slope or this downward slope then we have what we call a zero correlation which is actually no correlation like i said earlier on covariance is used to measure the direction of the relationship between two variables now we can actually have either a positive covariance or a negative covariance so a positive covariance simply means that both variables tend to be high or low at the same time and uh, a negative covariance simply means that when one variable is high the other variable tends to be low and vice versa the covariance value can range from minus infinity to positive infinity with the negative value indicating a negative relationship and a positive value indicating a positive relationship so now that i've explained the basis of correlation and covariance to you it's time for us to you know get our hands on some data set so if you actually want to perform your correlation and covariance all you have to do is to come to analyze and then you come down to correlate and you're going to be seen bivariate and so this is what we are actually interested in the bivariate correlation that is the correlation between just two variables only so when we click on bivariate it brings out this dialogue and uh, if you look down here you're going to be seeing three correlation coefficients now we have the piercings we have the kenda style b and we have the spearman uh automatically it has actually clicked on piercing for you so i'll actually be touching the three of them so the piercings correlation coefficient is basically used to get the strength of association and direction between two numerical variables so that simply implies that for you to be able to use your piercings correlation coefficient the two variables must be numerical and they must be on either the interval scale or the ratio scale also we should not have any outliers in our data set before you can be able to use the piercings correlation coefficient also for piercings correlation the variables that we are working with must be normally distributed that is normality is actually assumed right here uh, we also have the spearman's rank correlation and the kenda style rank. if you want to use the spearman's ranking uh the variables must actually be at least ordinal the kenda style on the other hand is basically used for ordinal variables only it does not work for interval it does not work for ratio if you come right here you're going to be seeing the test for significance meaning spss has been programmed to actually perform a test on the correlation coefficient either of them that any of them that you choose right there, either the piercings the spearmans or the kenda style spss is going to perform a test of significance on each of them and then uh we can come to options and you can click here to get the statistics that is the mean and standard deviation then you can see cross products deviations and covariances so you can actually get the covariances of the variables at the same time so you click on continue then we can decide to like input in as much variable as we want right here okay so we can just drop those in we can decide to like no let us use the car id let's just take this back okay so let's start with um let's say we'll be is the car length the car width the car height uh the 
curb weight and let's just say the engine size so we want to just perform correlation between one two three four five six the six variables we can also do for all of them by the way we can just select all of them and it's gonna like get it but i don't want us to have so much to work with this time so we can click on two-tailed is a very good way to perform your correlations two-tailed is actually a very good way i love performing a two-tailed test for my test it kind of increases accuracy so you click on ok it runs the code and it gives you all of this and this is more or less like the correlation table so you can see uh the kenda style b for wheels wheelbase car length car width car height curb weight engine size you can see the vertical you can see the horizontal you can see for spearman's rule and you can see for the piercings up here so we have the piercings correlation up here and we have the non-parametric which is the kendall style and uh, the spearman's ranking up here so let's start with the piercings so which is the parametric so we have wheelbase right here we have wheelbase right here as you can see we have to correlate wheelbase with car length wheelbase with car width wheelbase with car height wheelbase with curb weight and wheelbase with engine size so let's start with the wheelbase and the car length as you can see we have the wheelbase right here and we have car length right here between wheelbase and car length we have 0 0.875 rather that is the strength of the correlation so at the top right corner you can see like two stars two asterisk right here it simply means the correlation is significant at 0 0.01 level that's one tier we can actually change this to two tier we also have the wheelbase and the car width that's um 0 0.795 and it's also significant at a one percent level of significance we can also have uh the wheelbase and the car height the wheelbase and the curb weight the decision rule states that if the p-value is lesser than the level of significance then we actually reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the test is significant and if the p-value is greater than the level of significance we actually fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the test is not significant so our p-value right here as you can see is actually lesser than 0.001 so that is actually a very small p-value very close to zero so based on that we are actually going to like conclude that our test is significant so the sum of squares and cross products we really don't need this then we come to the covariance remember i said that the covariance can take values ranging from minus infinity down to plus infinity the covariance between wheelbase and car length is actually 64.975 uh, between wheelbase and car width we have 10.272 between car height and wheelbase we have our 8.673 between wheelbase and curb width we have 2434.297 and between engine size and wheelbase we have 142.767 so obviously the covariance between wheelbase and curb weight is actually the highest compared with all other variables we can also pay attention to car length and wheelbase uh we can you know we can see car weight and all of those stuff so you can just play around this and you know that is every detail you need to know about the piercings correlation and uh it's covariance so let's go to the uh, non-parametric correlations that is the correlations that we don't have to assume normality you know for piercings we assume normality for non-parametric we don't assume normality so let's start with the kenda style and as usual wheelbase and car length the coefficient is 0 0.746 and it is significant at uh one percent level of significance at uh, the same thing with uh car width we have six zero point six fifty and uh we have um car height curb weight and engine size uh the end right represents the size of the data set that we are using and as you can see our test is also significant right here the p value is 0 0.001 it's lesser than 0 0.001 you can see that we don't have a covariance right here and that is because we can't get the covariance for non parametric correlations covariance is only applicable to parametric correlations that is your piercings correlation coefficient and this is how you get uh, the kenda style the spearman's ranking the piercings correlation coefficient and the covariance thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one so bye for now